You know, when you think of Notre Dame and USC, what do you think of? Well, most of us might say football and rivalry, and there might be a few other adjectives thrown in as well. But believe it or not, the Irish and the Trojans are banding together to take on a mutual foe, and that would be cancer. The two schools are launching the Partners for a Cure initiative, a collaborative effort to develop new, more effective early cancer detection technologies. And joining us right here in the studio is the director of Notre Dame's Harper Cancer Research Institute, Sharon Stack. And joining us via the Notre Dame Day video hotline from L.A., there he is, from Los Angeles, is the director of the USC Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center, Stephen Gruber. Welcome to Notre Dame Day, Sharon and Steve. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. So, uh, Sharon, let me start with you. We're going to get to Steve in a second. We always have to put USC in the back seat, don't we? That's the way it works. <laughs> when we can. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we've uh, kind of been there ourselves a few times lately. Anyway, uh, tell us about how this collaborative effort got started. How did the idea come about, and, and what are you doing exactly? Sure, I have to give credit to Steve for this idea. He came to me with the idea of having, um, based on our historic football rivalry, if we could take the momentum from that rivalry and bring it towards something good, and that would be rivals on the field, but partners for a cure. So if we could join our scientists and um, the USC clinicians and scientists together to attack a cancer-specific problem or a set of, uh, set of cancers, that we would be stronger together. Sure, and, and you mentioned that this actually plays on the strengths of USC and the strengths of Notre Dame. What, what are those? How did the... That's right. We actually have a lot of interactive strengths. Um, USC obviously has a great clinical team, and um, they have strong tumor biology. We have strong tumor biology, but we also bring strengths in areas, um, including engineering and physics and mathematics, that um, come to the table mm -hmm. at the Harper Institute. Yep. Um, Steve, uh, let's turn to you, and uh, thanks again for joining us out there in uh, L.A. And, and i got to tell you, the weather is actually pretty nice here for a change. It's <laughs> very much like, like you have out there. How does uh, That's Notre Dame's... Probably, it's nice here as well. Yeah. How does, how does Notre Dame's basic cancer research and USC's uh, clinical cancer that Sharon mentioned overlap, and, and uh, how did you uh, come up with the idea just as a brainstorm to do this? Well, first of all, it's a great opportunity for us. We were thrilled to work with a great university for whom we've had a historic uh, rivalry on the football field for many years. But we thought this was a great opportunity for us to bring together the strengths of each of our institutions and partner in a way that would take advantage of what each of us do quite well. At USC and the Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center, um, we provide outstanding clinical care and bring innovative clinical trials to our patients. But we're always looking for exceptional science and ways in which we can bring engineering and uh, great clinical studies into uh, benefit our patients. And uh, to be able to work with Sharon, is, it's just a wonderful opportunity. That's great, Steve. And again, uh, my congratulations on coming up with a great idea. Sharon, what, mm -hmm. what types of cancer are you targeting here? Because the, it's become so vast, as we know, there are dozens, probably hundreds of different types of cancer. Right. Our first two projects that we're targeting, it's based on an early detection project that's looking for ways to detect a devastating childhood cancer called neuroblastoma and pancreatic cancer, which affects adults but is, has a very poor prognosis. And um, the second project is looking at colorectal cancer and trying to identify new drug targets for that disease that affects hundreds of thousands of people. Sure. I was, and with that one is, is well known. Pancreatic cancer has gotten a lot of attention. Uh, there have been some you know, well-known people. People, uh, mm -hmm. recently and even in the past who have uh, passed away because of that. Uh, one of the things about pancreatic cancer that I understand anyway is that by the time it's detected, it's generally too late. So is that why you picked that or are there some... Yeah, that's, that's absolutely why. We know from years of research that early detection saves lives. And um, research in um, Dr. Hill's lab in the Harper Institute is looking at early potential early detection biomarkers using some of his mouse models. And we're putting him together with some of the clinical folks at USC um, looking at these circulating bags of information called exosomes that are present in cancer patients and seeing if we could um, pull some engineers in from both institutions um, that will allow us to detect these exosomes and their signatures um, and get an earlier look at pancreatic cancer sure. and pediatric cancers as well. Well, uh, Steve, I, I know it's still relatively early in what we hope will be a long partnership between Notre Dame and USC, but what have you taken away so far and how's that collaborative um, effort worked? It's actually been working extremely well from our perspective, and one of the things that I've enjoyed is uh, being able to host scientists from Notre Dame here on USC's campus, where we've recognized the talents of folks like Brian Baker, uh, Reggie Hill, and Sharon herself, terrific scientists, all of whom uh, complement the work that we have uh, here at the University of Southern California. 
in particular, I'll just point out one uh, incredibly cool aspect that we are gaining uh, information together about in colon cancer, where our team is working um, with Brian Baker in engineering to understand how the human immune system is able to recognize cancer cells and actually turn things on so that you can fight cancer using your own immune system. Um, so that is the first gratifying piece. And the other piece I, I have to say is especially gratifying is knowing that we're going to be able to uh, host a Notre Dame undergraduate here uh, for a little bit of clinical shadowing. Uh, and we're super excited to have a young woman named Madison McFarland uh, in our lab uh, this summer. Oh, that's terrific. And uh, Steve, we appreciate that. That's a great shout out. Sharon, uh, where does this go from here? What's, what's in the future? What's the next step in the program? How do you take it to that next level? We hope to continue um, philanthropic support for this program because we have many, many more teams that we can assemble. Steve and I have researchers and clini clinicians that have a lot of ideas, more ideas than we have funding for. So we'd really like people to um, either give to Notre Dame Day because every dollar there that comes to Harper goes directly into research or contribute to the Rivals campaign on our website, harpercancer.nd.edu. Um, Steve will also be um, showing this at the, the uh, USC Day, um, where uh, folks can contribute through Norris as well, and we get all the money in and we split it up and, and give it directly back to science. And talk about uh, you know money that really can be effective in, in trying to deal with a problem that so many people have been touched by cancer, so we appreciate that very much. Steve, I want to note for you that Sharon is wearing green here in the studio. Is that a <laughs> USC tie you're wearing? It, it is, actually, okay. yes. And as I recall, things went in our favor this year. Is that right, Sharon? I, I don't remember. I'm sorry, Steve. I have some background <laughs> intel on you, though, Steve, because uh, I understand that you're a Michigan guy. So uh, I'm, I'm going to be expecting big things from a Michigan-Ohio State collaboration at some point in the future, OK? <laughs> that sounds good to me, too. I, I spend a fair amount of time at Michigan, uh, but now um, fight on. All right. <laughs> Steve, thank you so much. We appreciate both of you for joining us uh, tonight.